All right, welcome to the channel. My name is Eric, and today we're going to talk about the different fuel systems in your lawnmowers. So, hang tight. We'll have some fun with this one. Welcome back my name is Eric and today we're talking about the different types of fuel systems that you may encounter on your lawnmower and this also goes for your tillers and all the other stuff okay your basic the older style and they're still being used today is you have your fuel tank all right and they have what they call the gravity fed and that is it comes out of your tank from your fuel line and it goes all the way around and goes to your carburetor and the tank sits higher than the engine so the fuel is just gravity fed slowly down into the engine and if if you do have that system then you're probably better off at this point if you're watching this video is to take your fuel line that comes off your tank and goes to your carburetor cut it here and put an inline fuel shut off that's going to save you a lot of money and repairs and being frustrated for a long time because what I teach people is when you're done using it if you're going to store it for an extended period of time leave it running shut the fuel off and let it drain everything out of the carburetor from this point in all right and you won't get the extra varnish, the water, ethanol sitting in the carburetors. So that's one style is the gravity. And the other is a fuel pump. Now, there's actually three different styles. I call them three different styles. But you have what they call the mechanical fuel pump. And this bolts to the side of the engine and a lobe hits this. And it causes it to do this as a fuel pump, right? This is an aftermarket, and this was a, a Stens. And this comes with all the fittings, but they're all plastic, and there's no place to prime the system, I call it. But this here bolts onto the side of the engine. Your fuel line comes from the tank down into the inside. And then out the other side and this here pumps it so the fuel could be low lower or the same height like underneath the seat as your engine this is pulling that fuel as the engine is turning over and is running now the aftermarket to come in plastic this is same style but this is OEM Kohler same idea you know it has the but this one here, you can manually pump this up without the engine running. So if you're trying to bleed the system, this is a nice option to have. But the main thing, if you're going to be installing either one of these mechanicals, is to put some oil down in here before you install that. Oh. Because what ends up happening is, is it's going to slosh some oil once the engine starts running. But it's going to run dry until it happens. So if you put some oil down in there, just 10W30, before you bolt it up, that at least lubricates that shaft so it'll start working. And it won't be wearing on the pump. So that's the second, you know, system is a mechanical fuel pump. Let me put these back away. And this goes, this stands. Stens sends the description, how inst, inst, installing stuff, the instructions with their stuff, or at least they did. And then the other is vacuum operated. And that's what you're seeing on most of them these days, right? Is you have 
your fuel coming in, your fuel going out, and then you have a vacuum hose going over to usually on one of the valve covers and it's producing a vacuum that's causing it to work. And a lot of times if you can't get fuel, if you could take fuel off from the inside where it comes from the fuel tank and it comes down through your filter, comes down through your shutoff, if you can draw fuel with your mouth, and this won't, then this is usually the culprit. And they're around 12, 15 bucks. You might find them cheaper on eBay. And they make two different styles, right? They make one, and the only difference in the style is the direction that the vacuum line is sitting at. One is made for John Deere, Kawasaki's, and the other is for everything else. And if you're a shop and you've got gas line, you can make one style work for all of them. But the John Deere that we just did for a gal took the Kawasaki one and, and it, this was faced over on this side instead of out this way. So this is just the vacuum operated fuel pump. And if you're gonna have any problems in your system, because what we're trying to figure out is we gotta get gas from point A, which is the fuel tank, to Point B, which is the carburetor, right? And it comes now, are there other fuel pumps other than just the two that I've shown you, the vacuum and the mechanical? Yes, there is. There's an electric fuel pump that runs off electricity or voltage from your battery. And you don't see those too much on the riders. We see them a lot on the lawn garden tractors and the, the bigger units. And then you also have one that runs off vibration. It's got two flaps with a, a weight and it comes, it takes the vibration off from the actual engine itself. Those you're not going to see as often. Most times when you're working on your homeowner's lawn and garden, it's either going to be vacuum operated or it's going to be mechanical. And when you're vacuum, if you have problems with this, sometimes it's not the pump. It's the vacuum hose going from the vacuum side of the fuel pump over to the valve cover gasket. They will get cracked and brittle and will sometimes break open and you will lose your vacuum there so it's not doing what it needs to do. So you want to check that as well. So keep going here and it comes down through this fuel line. The other thing that you want not only having a shut off in that fuel line is you also want a fuel filter all right these are directional and when i say directional it most of them especially the ones that we get from rotary they've got an arrow pointing the flow of where the gas should be going and it's usually coming from the fuel tank it's like this it seems odd but it's but it's the correct way if you take it the other way you won't get the correct flow through it and it's not going to run right so from your gas tank to your carburetor, you should have a fuel shutoff, whether it's the L or the straight, should have a fuel filter and a vacuum pump, whether it's mechanical or diaphragm or gravity flow. Now we've gotten the fuel from the fuel tank all the way down to the carburetor. We're getting car gas to the carburetor, but we still can't get it to run. Fuel solenoid. We never used to have these on the older machines. This is something, you know, in the last 10 years. But it's electromagnetic inside here. And what this does is when the key switch is turned on, it sucks this down and it allows fuel come into the carburetor bowl and the flow and when you turn the key off it pops up and it shuts itself off now if you don't have a shut off in your system and you just left fuel from last fall to this spring in that lawnmower a lot of times these get gummed up and a lot of people will go out and spend the money to buy a brand new one a lot of times you can just take they pull out 
and then if you take some carb cleaner or PV blaster, just keep working it. And then take and hook it up without it in the carburetor and just start trying your key switch to see if it's actually functioning the way it should, full stroke. Is it going all the way down so it allows the fuel to come through and then is it allowing all the way up to shut it off when you turn the key off? So hopefully that's helped you guys with your fuel systems. What to look for when you're not getting fuel, start from your tank, you know, and work your way down. Is the shut off on off? Is the filter plugged? Is the fuel pump, if it's not gravity fed, is the fuel pump bad on it? Whether it's mechanical or vacuum. And if you got it all the way to the carburetor, but you still can't get anything, then we need to look at the fuel solenoid to make sure that's functioning pop properly for you. So hopefully that's helped some. And thanks so much for watching. And I appreciate all you guys and taking the time to watch our videos. You guys have a great day.